of weeks ago, King 66 CP put me onto this stuff called Pyropack Instant Heat Gel. It's some new stuff that uh, they were issuing to the military people for heating up their uh, coffee in their canteen cups. I'll give you a address of how to go to their site and see the information that they have on it. It says that it won't freeze or anything like that. This packet's been in the freezer for almost a week now and it's still all pliable. So I'm going to use this one on the test. I'm going to do it in the canteen cup and the canteen cup stove. Uh, those of you may have remember back in December and November I did some tests on the canteen cup stove where most people seem to like to put the canteen cup down in the stove. And I showed with a couple of tests that it actually works much better if you swing it around 180 degrees and set it on the top. That way the flames come up through the sides and everything and heat up the canteen cup a little bit better. If it's down in, it forms like a, uh, a, a pocket of heat, a barrier where the heat doesn't come up. So today I'm going to do this in 160 degrees. 100, I'm sorry, why do I keep doing it? 180 degrees. When I did this before using trioxane, a third of a cube, or a third of a tab of trioxane, which is, uh, what, eight grams? It boiled water in six minutes and 47, 46 seconds. When I did it with espit, <coughs> A half an espit cube which was seven grams it boiled water in five minutes and 30 seconds so we'll see what happens here today now this stuff is somewhat toxic it says on it it's interesting using a ventilated area which i'm not going to today i'm going to do it inside remember don't do as i do so avoid skin talk uh, avoid skin and eye contact use water to flush it just says squeeze out the gel and light Fill canteen cup with water, place canteen cup over burning gel, and shield from the wind. I don't know what kind of, well it's also on the back as Murphy says, any command that can be misunderstood will be. Cool. I don't know how flow, how much of a flow there is with this stuff, so this is the frozen one. I'm going to put it in a Nivea can top, just to hold it in place. Let's tear this open. I think the, uh, the report that I got on it says that this stuff is glycol. Kind of looks like a Vaseline. I guess maybe I didn't really, although this is frozen or it was in a freezer, so I'm not sure what would happen with the one that's at room temperature. But you can see here that it stacks up. Now I weighed this package and the package comes as it was, was 40 grams or 1.4 ounces or 0 0.08 pounds. So weight wise, this is much more. What the one third tab of uh, trioxane was only eight grams. So this is quite a bit more. I'll put the canteen cup stand there. I have one cup of water sitting at 59 degrees. Let's put that in the cup. That's what I did with the other tests. But this is mostly for heating up coffee at a cup at a time. So instead of using the two cups, of water in my normal test. I'm just going to use a single cup. Put the thermometer back in. If this looks like it's going to go for a long time, then I'll do another test with two cups of water in it. Uh, let's see, where do I put my matches? Move things around here. Just out of the way. Okay, this is cold. I don't know, is it lit? Let's, yeah, it's lit. Can you see that? Yep. Okay, let me put the stove there. The canteen cup with one cup of water on the top. So that's one cup of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature is 71 degrees. Humidity is about 37% and it's windy out. But of course, this is no wind. This will be like the best uh, example that you can have. So let's see where this goes. Okay, there's 210, 211, 212 at 4 minutes 27 seconds. Came to a boil in 4 minutes 27 seconds. Let's see how long this burns. Okay. 
Okay, I think the flames are just about ready to go out according to the uh, instructions that they had at their pyro pack site. This packet should last 14 minutes, which we can see there. So it's already lasted 14 and a half minutes. So let's just take this out and see what it looks like. Take the thermometer off. Let's take care of the water. Now I can see right off that this stuff soots somewhat. Not as bad. I mean, I've seen much worse, but it does soot the bottom of the pot. somewhat on the stove and all that's left they said is just like a sand just some white oops still burning a little bit just some white uh, stuff there and I don't know if it's toxic or whatever I would hope not the uh, fuel itself is but once it's burned out maybe it's just safe to use I'll have to look that up I did a weight on the packet empty uh, the packet empty was six grams or 0.2 ounces or 0.012 pounds which makes the, the uh, they said that this was a one and a quarter ounce size. Retail $3.89, last 14 minutes. On the website for this, they also show using the stuff to light charcoal. But I think at $3.49 or $3.89, almost $4 each, this is a little bit pricey. I think I'd still stick with the uh, Weber fire starter. There is somewhat of a smell here, but I've had worse with the Triox. This, this came to a boil in 4 minutes and 27 seconds. That was one cup starting at 60. It lasted for 14 and a half minutes. Let's see, I think it was 1437. So I think we could have done two cups with this and got two cups of boiling water. At least with this we had safe water to drink by a long shot. So it's interesting stuff. <clears throat> Did boil the water. I think with the uh, Triox it was a third of a tablet, which was eight ounces, versus the um, one and a quarter ounces. Wait, it was eight grams, quarter ounce, and it got a cup of water to boil. I have another sample here. If people are interested, what, I'll, what I could do is take eight grams of this and compare it and see how much eight grams of this burns, how much it'll boil. So anyway, that's stuff called Pyropack. I'll leave you a... Uh, website address for looking it up. You can find it on eBay. They also have another, it's a six ounce refill pack that has a little spout on it and they show it squeezing it into a, a canteen cup stove for a longer burn. Although 14 minutes for this isn't exactly peanuts and just a little bit of sooting. Let's see if that comes off. Yeah, it comes off real easy. So there you have it. Thank you King 66 CP for telling me about this stuff. I always look for input like that, remarks, you know, helpful suggestions. And I don't, I'm just getting a little stumbly here. I should open the door. So they also say don't do this in a uh, confined area, but it's not that bad. So I thank you for watching and watch for my buddy Max. Smile until then. Who cares about the clouds and we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you until we meet.